hi guys what's up and welcome to vlogmas day nine i think it's day nine I, i'm getting the days really mixed up but i'm pretty sure today is day nine i'm currently sitting in my apartment's like lounge area i'm in a different room today this one has like a pool table scrabble there's actually like puzzles and stuff right here for people to do but i'm currently waiting for my video for vlogmas day eight to export and then i need to upload it i don't even want to talk about what time it is we're not even going to address it it's late but i'm going to film like kind of like a cozy friday night chill night yeah i'm just gonna have a good chill night but like productive at the same time i want to do a couple things that i've been meaning to do for a while tonight so we can get on that once i can upload my video normally the videos when i upload them down here take like 15 minutes or so i have to stop at the grocery store i'm gonna put this stuff upstairs and then run over to the grocery store i want to make a chicken pot pie tonight i don't know why i've been just thinking about making one i saw somebody make one recently on tiktok where i see everything and it looked really good i was tied today for dinner between a chicken pot pie and a chicken sandwich with french fries with like a homemade ranch which sounds so good as well but i think i want to do the chicken pot pie because it seems really easy Luckily, they have rotisserie chickens at the grocery store because i need one of those oh, lovely my camera is dying um if i don't update you it's because it died i'm just here uploading my video praying that it goes very quickly I feel like i'm losing my mind right now but my video just uploaded so it's time to go and look at my coat y'all <laughs> i look like a giant pink marshmallow or my camera rudely died on me i should just take down my hair because i did curl it and make it nice today but then i put it up because it was really bugging me but look at my coat <laughs> I feel like the, is it the Michelin man or whatever his name is? I feel like a giant puff, uh, but fluorescent pink. But this coat is actually so warm. Like, look at how big. <laughs> I've never really looked at it from the side and realized truly how big it is. But like my arms don't even go all the way down because the sleeves are so big. This is from ASOS. I got it last year. I'll try and look in my email and see if they still sell it. I think it was like a really good price, but it's huge this is gonna be like my go-to winter coat when it actually starts getting like really really cold out like january through march this is gonna be my go-to and i love the bright pink on it lulu is just watching me film myself she's like where have you been but i'm about to go to the grocery store i feel like i live at the grocery store but i really want to make chicken pot pie so it's necessary we need rotisserie chicken onions carrots peas pie dough and then I want to get some ice cream. So yeah, I'm going to have a very good night, y'all. I'm turning it around. Today was very stressful, as it has been, getting these vlogs up. for the world's quickest grocery haul i got a black cherry seltzer i might regret this but i think i might make another little spritzer with the vodka that i have and some like lemon juice and one of those we'll see if i'm feeling up to it and then i mostly got stuff for the pie i'm also so sad because i realized i forgot to get peas frozen peas at the grocery store but i have like a quarter of a bag left in here so hopefully that's just enough that's gonna have to be because i'm not going out again i got semi-sweet chocolate chips for potentially a little mug dessert that i want to make tonight i got light cream instead of heavy cream I'm trying to do what we can around here y'all so we got light cream pie crust vanilla ice cream i don't know why i was feeling like a plain jane and i just got the regular vanilla a whole bag of carrots because they don't sell carrots on their own i guess anymore so i got a whole bag for like a dollar fifty but i don't know what i'm gonna do with the rest of them a yellow onion a cold rotisserie chicken that i had to ask a man and that worked at the deli to go get in the back for me and then a bag of chips to have with my guaca salsa from Trader Joe's, these are the best chips, unless it's Tostitos Hint of Lime. The on the border ones, in my opinion, the cafe style, they're so much better. So I've already been snacking on those, if you couldn't tell. The bag is open because your girl is hungry right now. This is the container I'm gonna use for the pot pie. Since it's just me, I feel like it just makes sense to use a smaller one. Um, so I might have to cut the pie crust, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm gonna put some of this stuff away and then get started making this because I wanna take a shower while it's in the oven. So we gotta get going here.
Okay, so I've been melting down six tablespoons of butter, which is a lot of butter, but that's what the recipe I'm following calls for. I have it on a low heat, and now I'm gonna add in all of the carrots and the onions that I chopped up. I did two big carrots and then one whole sweet onion. Now we're gonna give this a mix and cook these until they're cooked down, which might be a while, because this is kind of a lot of filling. I don't know if I should have done less since I'm making it in a small pan, but I guess worst case, I just don't put all the filling inside. While the carrots and onions are cooking, I just rinsed out this bowl. And now I'm gonna be proactive here. Since I feel like the carrots and onions are gonna take a minute, I'm gonna take the rotisserie chicken and start shredding it, which it's a little bit more difficult to do because it's cold. Well, I guess it's not that hard, but it's really easy when it's warm. I don't know how much chicken I need. I'm gonna go look in a second, but I'm just gonna shred as much of like the chicken breast is my favorite part. I'm not really shredding it super fine. I'm just kind of getting decent chunks and I'm gonna keep the skin in because that's my favorite part of a rotisserie chicken when it's warm, but when it's cold, it just doesn't really hit the same. So I'll add it into this and see how it is. So the onions and carrots have been cooking down for a while now on a low heat. Now I'm gonna add in a third of a cup flour. I already pre-measured this stuff because I just want it to be nice and easy, but now I'm gonna just stir this up constantly to make sure that the flour doesn't burn and gets all over all of these. The recipe that I'm following, she added mushrooms in too, but I really wasn't feeling the mushrooms in the chicken pot pie. I think if anything, besides the peas that I would add in, would be corn. None of the recipes I looked at called for corn, but I don't know why I pictured corn in a chicken pot pie. I haven't had one of these in so long, so I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining things. How long do I have to stir this for? She said stir it constantly. For two minutes. My whole body is so tired right now. This two minutes is feeling like 10 years. Has it been two minutes? Ugh. It's only been two minutes since I started recording, so it's probably been like a minute and a half. Now I'm gonna add in two cups. I had exactly two cups left in my fridge of chicken stock. There's that. Now we'll mix this in, and then I think I have to add in half a cup of heavy cream, but y'all know I'm using light cream today it doesn't make it much of a difference using light cream i just they didn't have any heavy cream in the small container and i didn't really need a big one so that's why i got the light one i just totally poured a whole cup into this container and i only need half a cup so let me pour this in almost okay a little bit more oops I think that's half a cup. Now I'm gonna try and get this back into the container. If you're wondering, that was actually very easy. It all went right back in. Now let me make sure I'm mixing this and checking what my next step is because I am really bad at following recipes. I'm really good at cooking, but I'm really bad at following recipes because you just have to constantly be like looking back and forth and I'm not good at that. I like to just focus on my cooking, but wow, this is really, thickening up very nicely. So it says to just cook this for one minute or until mixture is a thick gravy consistency and then you add salt and pepper. Okay, that flour method, it actually works really well. I'm gonna turn this down to like a low heat because I don't want it to get too hot on me. Now I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of salt and I'll do the black pepper first since I'm gonna crack 
that in one teaspoon salt two teaspoon salt i recently invested in some actual like table salt because i only ever had like my pink himalayan sea salt and it was really frustrating to have to like crack it into every recipe so sometimes having this is a lot easier plus you need this for like baking and stuff so i'm glad that i finally invested in that now we need to add in the shredded chicken oh lost a piece of chicken along the way okay that's all i did i didn't really do the whole rotisserie chicken honestly just because i didn't feel like it and i feel like this is the perfect amount that i did but i haven't had a chicken pot pie since i was like six years old i feel like it's been so long i don't think i've ever had a homemade one no shade to my mom but we just bought like a frozen one whenever we would have one my mom can cook but when it came to chicken pot pie we just had a little frozen one that you popped in the oven and it was always really good but this might be a little bit better a little bit elevated so happy that i had these in my fridge because frozen peas like this are my favorite oh this one has like a lot of water on it. I got a little bit of freezer burn on them, but we're gonna make it work. <sighs> really big chunk of peas right here. Should I just take that out? Mm, no, they're gonna break up, okay. Oh my God, yay, it looks good. Oh, I was supposed to add parsley to this. That's okay, I don't have, I have fresh parsley, but we're not about to chop it up right now, y'all. It's kind of late, so I can't be bothered to do all that. Stir to combine, then remove from heat and cool slightly. Okay, removing from the heat. Yummy. The closest I've had to a chicken pot pie recently was when I made like a chicken pot pie soup. I think that was like a month ago. For the recipe I'm following, she calls for handmade dough, but although I would love to do that, <laughs> not tonight. Not tonight. So we're gonna just do these pre-made doughs, which I've used for an apple pie before in the past. And it was actually really good. Like it tasted perfectly fine. Making your own dough is of course preferred, but when you're in a pinch, these little pre-made doughs, they do the trick. And I'm kind of wondering if I'm gonna be able to use one dough for the top and the bottom. Dough like isn't separating. I feel like it's because this isn't like a problem when you buy pre-made dough. It's just a problem probably when you buy the store brand pre-made dough. <laughs> I went cheaper on this and I should have just went with Pillsbury. Okay, now it's working. All right, this crust is on. Now we just need to fill it. I'd be interested to see how much of this filling I actually get in here. And then now that I'm looking at it, I might be able to get all of it. This, that would be crazy if I could, which I would prefer, so that way nothing goes to waste. Maybe this dish actually equals out to the size of a pie dish. I don't know, it doesn't look like it, but maybe it does. Arm is hurting so bad, it's so sore from my workout yesterday that Holding this is like the worst thing in the world. I get sore the day after a workout, like not the same night or anything, but like the night after I am beyond sore. All right, people, bringing my iPad over here to see what else I have to do. Now I have to put the top on, but I just need to make sure I don't miss any steps. Place the second disc of pie dough over the pie filling, fold the excess dough behind the bottom crust, then crimp the pie crust together to seal. Using a sharp paring knife, cut five small slits in the top to allow steam to escape. Cool. Okay, I really don't wanna crack this dough, but see, this is where I'm a little lost. Should I just make like a really thick crust? <laughs> okay, these parts are like way too thick. <laughs> okay, I think that looks like pretty decent. Now I need to take a paring knife. I have like a little cheese knife that I think I'm gonna use this little thing. And I just am supposed to make five slits. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do six. Like one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I'm gonna do eight. Hopefully that doesn't mess things up, but I'm just an even loving gal. I need things to be symmetrical. Now I need to, beat an egg and add that as like an egg wash on top and then just season with salt and pepper. I think that's it. Oh my God, I almost just cracked the egg on top of here. I'm either tired or overworked or both, I don't know, but that would have been the worst thing to ever happen to me. Now we brush all along the top. This is gonna be from what I understand, what makes the top of it nice and like golden. 
and makes it look nice and pretty. I don't know if I should be using this whole egg or if I should just use enough to get it all brushed all over. Crack right here in the dough. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's really killing my vibe because otherwise I did a pretty good job. I'm really getting old. I'm making a chicken pot pie on a Friday night. All right, I probably used like half the egg. I feel bad kind of like wasting the rest of this egg, but it's egg washed as much as I can possibly egg wash it. Oh, I should put some of my everyday seasoning on. No, that's doing too much. Let me just do salt. Here's the before. Honestly, looks pretty good. I can't wait for the after though. All right, y'all, cheers. I would cheers the camera, but I'm afraid I'm gonna spill this everywhere. Um, I had just enough time to make a drink after my shower, so I ended up going with similarly to what I made the other day. I found in my liquor cabinet some passion fruit liqueur, so I added that, and we're gonna taste it right now and see how it is. It might be really strong. Delicious, so I only did one shot of vodka, half a shot of triple sec, half a shot of passion fruit liqueur. And I like how it added that same color as I got the other day, but from this, cause this is like a bright pinkish red color. And then I topped it off with a little bit of this cherry seltzer water. This is actually better than the other day. It's really good. And it's not like overly strong or anything either. This is delicious. I know I said no more hard liquor. I put a ban on it, but the ban has been lifted because today was a really long day and it's Friday, so. I might as well have a little fun drink, I guess. All right, so the pot pie was in the oven for 35 minutes and then it needed like an extra 10, but I lowered the heat to 375. I really don't know if my crust is like fully crusting, but it's just been in there now for like too long. So that's why I lowered it to 375 because I was afraid it was gonna burn. It's like not fully cooked in some areas, but then burnt on some of the areas. So I really don't know. Here's what she, is looking like okay here's what we're working with this is what I mean like see how like right over here it's like a little bit lighter like I think that that's okay but then like this part over here I'm tapping it to see how hard it is this part is getting a little bit burnt so I'm like uh do I put it back in for like another five minutes or is it good the way it is it's already been in there for quite a long time I think it's just because I made it in this pan and not in a pie dish. I've been letting it sit for a few minutes, so I'm gonna cut into it now. I have my pie cutter here. I don't really know if this is gonna work out the way I want it to, but just kinda kind of, okay. I'm not worried about the middle, obviously, because that's already been cooked. I'm just more so worried about the crust on the bottom and the crust on the top. I felt sad just like cutting into this and ruining my cute little masterpiece. Whoa, get a little bit more of the filling. This is a little bit messy. It's still piping hot on the inside, but I think the crust did okay. My apartment in real life has the best mood lighting at night. Like it's so relaxing in here. I might change actually right now the lights behind the TV, but it's always such good vibes in here, except for when I'm trying to film because on camera, it just doesn't translate and it just looks really dark. But I swear my favorite time of day in my apartment is nighttime like this when I can turn on all my LED lights. I know LED lights kind of give off like frat boy energy, but get some if you don't have any for your bedroom or your place because they make the mood lighting just they take it up a whole notch. I'm trying to get a bite of this with the crust and a lot of the filling. It is so hot still. <laughs> Blow on it because it's still really hot. I don't even know how. It was resting out of the oven for like 15 minutes. So if you couldn't tell, I'm in my favorite pajamas again. I sound like a broken record, but they're from Target. If you want to go buy them, they're always linked in my description box because they're that good. I think at this point I've sold like 600 pairs. Like I'm not even kidding you. Everyone is buying them. Okay, here goes first bite. 
I genuinely never know what to say besides it's good, but it's good. I feel like this is a really good weekday meal if you have kids or like you're cooking for multiple people because you'll have leftovers. And it's something that you can make ahead before you put it in the oven. So it's a win meal for me. This is delicious. I don't know why, but I love carrots when they're warm and cooked, like if they're in soups or if they're in things like this. But if you put a raw carrot in front of me and told me to eat it, I couldn't do it. I'm making my way through my drink. I just turned the dishwasher on. I still have to figure out how I'm gonna store my pot pie because I don't know if I should put it in meal prep containers or just keep it in the bakeware that I made it in. Oh, I hate when I leave the shower curtain open. Let me shut it. I had to add some more seltzer water to my drink because I couldn't get through it. I just couldn't do it. Again, I look at me, you guys. I'm like, what, a couple sips in? I kid you not, I used to be able to go out and have like three margarita pitchers with people, shots, multiple other drinks, like nightcaps, like I used to be able to do all that. Now I can have, what, a couple sips of a drink and I'm done for? Like wine and spritzers and stuff, I think might have to be the move. So I'm moving on to skincare because my skin just feels a little bit dry and I don't want to touch it too much but I'm still breaking out quite a bit. On my face so I want to try and combat that as much as I can it's one of those things where I really don't feel like it's my skincare or like anything that I'm doing to my skin because I've been doing the same skincare routine for like six months and my skin has been perfectly fine it's just like randomly it's starting to get kind of bad I'm led to believe that it's either stress or something internal I don't know I've been drinking my water I guess I have been stressed and not sleeping as much as i would like to be like that's the only thing i can really pin it on because other than that i've been pretty good about like taking care of myself as good as i can about doing my skincare routine every night washing my face i've been noticing that i need to shave like right here on my upper lip because although i don't have dark hairs i have like blonde hair everywhere like my legs armpits face everything but it shows up when i'm wearing makeup and i felt like i could see it earlier today so i'm just gonna take this little like face facial razor and go through on at least like the top of my upper lip i don't really do anywhere else i know some people do like all down this way but i find that i break out from that so the really only like super necessary place that i feel like i want to do to make my makeup look better is my upper lip so i'm gonna get to shaving that off right now all right i think i'm done i didn't really do a perfect job but my lip is getting a little bit red so i'm like oh maybe i should call it quits for now take a little bit more of my ordinary toner and go one last time with that i already did obviously take my makeup off in the shower and wash my face in the shower with my Curology face wash. I am in dire need of an Ulta and Sephora trip, but I just emptied out a little bit of this because I missed it. It's the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, and I'm gonna put that on my face. I had to empty it out into my hands because the pump wasn't picking any up because there's barely any left, but this product is so good. I seriously miss this so much. I need to re-up on my Ordinary stuff because their skincare is so affordable compared to most other ones and it's so good and i should have listened to kenzie i think told me a while ago that she loves them i think they were like a sponsor of hers or something and she told me like back in 2021 that they were so good and i don't know why i didn't listen because they are really that good my face always gets a little bit red after i shave it but it doesn't hurt it just i just have very sensitive skin so anything like this it gets red super quick now i'm going to use my very last bit of this peach and lily wild dew essence i love this i just pat this in the best that i can the comments on my video last time i did my skincare asking for opinions on when i should put my facial oil on they were split 50 50 like some people said to put it on at the end some people said to put it on second to last before moisturizer the comments were split y'all like nobody could agree so i'm gonna put it on before moisturizer because that's what i had been doing for a little while and it was working for the most part so going in with my oil now i want my skin tomorrow morning to be super moisturized and glowy still so I'm kind of going ham on the products at the moment. If you guys have any favorite skincare brands, let me know down below that are good for sensitive skin specifically because 
that's your girl also this might be tmi but if any of you guys have any recommendations for products that help with acne on your body let me know because my shoulders are breaking out so much i think i think it's my conditioner maybe that's why my face is breaking out too from my conditioner but the issue is the conditioner works so well on my hair that i don't want to switch it up but i'm just kind of waiting until i run out of it and then i'm going to go over to my red can all soft but i don't know i think it's my conditioner but if you have any tips for like acne on your shoulders a little bit on your back let me know because i'm just, i swear i'm trying everything and nothing is working and i would really appreciate some tips because i have like what six months to get it together before i want to start wearing like tank tops and stuff so i need to figure it out now and be proactive towards getting my skin all over good because this summer i just want to be glowing feeling confident as ever now i'm going in with my CeraVe night cream getting that extra moisture in tonight y'all now i don't know if i should have put a pimple patch on before this but i am gonna put um a pimple patch on from curology that i forgot that i had but since i am breaking out a little bit we're just gonna see if a pimple patch tonight can solve all my problems next up is eye cream y'all know the drill oh i look like a glazed donut right now but that's exactly what i want before bed one more sip of my drink for now these are the pimple patches i'm going to use emergency spot patch from curology it comes with quite a few okay um i know people swear by pimple patches but i never use them because at least the ones that i've tried in the past they don't stay on my face and then they like move throughout the night and i swear they're not like tacked to my face and they just like don't do anything so i'm gonna wipe off a little bit where i'm gonna be putting some just so that way they go directly onto my skin and they're not moving around because of the oils and stuff all right i'm putting one right here it's kind of hard because you can't see them they're not colorful like the other ones which i guess is the point so that way you can wear them out and about and stuff without people really noticing all right i put two on you can't see them but there's one on this pimple right here and then one along my cheek where i had one that like i itched my face earlier today and i was like oh my god it hurts so bad because of this pimple so i want that one to at least go down a little bit a lot of them that you can see like the one on my jaw and like these ones over here they're like kind of flat but you can just still see them so i feel like a pimple patch isn't gonna do anything for that now i'm just gonna add a little bit of facial spray that is it for my skincare for the night. What I need to do now is just take my contacts out and put my glasses on. I'm like a glazed donut. <laughs> I'm in bed, if you couldn't tell. So far, I actually really like those pimple patches. I kind of forgot that they were on my face. You can't notice them. I can't feel them. Maybe it's just the places that they're in, but I can't. Like, I completely forgot that they were on my face until I hit record my camera. And I was like, oh yeah, the pimple patches. I'm trying to remember to drink more water and i also need to take my melatonin you guys know how i feel about these nature made melatonins these are so good i keep them right by my bedside i know i said i was gonna do more tonight and then i swear i looked at the clock and it said midnight and i was like oh i actually should probably go to bed like i probably shouldn't stay up until like 2 a.m doing stuff and just kind of like being a night owl because that's just not who i am anymore i'm a morning person i'm not this night owl that i've become during vlogmas okay my screen is so bright that's embarrassing i'm unlocking the ipad and i'm trying to get back into books every year at the beginning of the year i'm like i'm gonna read more this year and then i keep up with it for like two months and then i stop and then i remember like oh yeah i want to read more and then i'll pick it back up again like mid-year like typically during the beginning of summer when i'm like going to the beach and stuff i'll start reading again and then i'll fall off again in a month and then i forget about books altogether so i need to pick it back up with my reading is basically what i'm saying reading is one of those few things where when i'm doing it i really truly do forget about like everything going on in the world and everything going on in my life all the stressors like i just forget about all of that and i truly zone out and just enjoy a book i like reading fiction i also like reading nonfiction, but those things make me think more and kind of have the wheels turning in my head a little bit more i'm thinking that i'm gonna start doing non-fiction audiobooks and fiction 
books to read for myself because sometimes I find that nonfiction is hard for me to just continue to read through but I think if I was listening to it it would help a little bit uh, but fiction books once they get good I love reading and I just can't put them down I have had purchased on my iPad The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell for so long and I'm only 5% through it you can see it right here I'm 5% through also you can definitely see that I was clearly going through something <laughs> The last time I was reading, I was going through a lot. Yeah, I'm only on page 14 of this book, but I think I'm going to read some more. I like reading on my iPad because I could, like, highlight things if I want to. Let me delete that so that way I don't have to look at that, but you can, like, do any colors, yada yada. You can make little notes. The iPad is just, like, one of my best purchases ever. However... I wouldn't be opposed to a Kindle. I think that a Kindle would be nice, but for now I'm enjoying my iPad life and I'm going to read The Family Upstairs before I go to sleep. And it is 12.52 a.m. and I need to be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Oh my god, wait, I'm so mad at myself. I play Wordle every single day, you guys, and I just realized I missed a day since it's already 1 a.m. I missed yesterday's Wordle.